Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, this is Making It Happen with Mary, and I am Mary. Today's video, you guys, I got my hands on the new Y2K Pop Jelly Collection from Pink. They are such pretty bottles. I just want to point out the bottles have a glitter wrapper. The actual liquid inside is not glitter. So yeah, but they have three of them in this pop jelly collection. And uh, they're all Y2K inspired. They have cute little sayings on them. We're gonna dive into them a little bit deeper. I'm gonna give you guys a better understanding of the scent. So let's get into it. Uh, first one is pop jelly fresh and clean. It says on the front, guava splash, candy apple, shimmer velour. And it says a juicy tart mashup of candied apple, glazed guava, and boy band harmonies. Let, baby, let me just tell you. Back in the 90s, the boy bands, oh my God, we have Backstreet Boys, NSYNC, all along that lines, right? It was an era, let me tell you, let me tell you. But uh, let's just, uh, let's see what this one's given, shall we? I will say I've noticed with pink fragrances, I feel like lately... They're a little bit on the alcoholic side, um, but thankfully it does dissipate pretty quickly. Let's see what this one's given. I do like this one. I will say that. What I get more than anything is that guava. It's a really pretty guava note. I'm not really getting candy apple. Uh, at least on initial spray. And what we'll do is we'll come back to each scent after it's dried on me and we'll see how it's standing then. But initial spray is predominantly guava. I'm not really getting any candied apple in there at all. It is not an overly sweet guava either. It is not a candied guava. It's slightly sweet, but more on the natural side, not so synthetic, artificial. Um, I do kind of get like a candy glaze note in there, which could be that candied apple, but it's not coming across apple right off the rip. So we'll come back to this one and see what she's given after it's dried down really good. The next one, y'all, Vanilla and Dreamy Pop Jelly. Vanilla and Dreamy. Scent notes are Sweet Pear, Pink Jasmine, and Bubblegum Pop. Uh, and it says a late 90s mix of vanilla and jelly sparkle bubblegum and top 40 tunes. Y'all, I remember being a teenager in the 90s and those top 40s every Saturday morning was just like iconic, iconic. I remember those days. But uh, you can see I've got a nice healthy dent in her already. <laughs> yeah. But uh, let's go. Yeah, that's a different blend too. Pear, pink jasmine, and bubblegum. Hmm. Initial sniff, what I definitely get is some jasmine. But it is, it does have this really warm, cozy vibe about it, which the vanilla is in there, even though they don't list it, but it's vanilla and dreamy, so we know vanilla's in it. I don't really get pear from this either initially. But I am getting a bubblegum note now that's coming through after it's kind of drying a tiny bit. That jasmine is kind of transforming into a bubblegum note, which is different, and I'm liking it. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of the stick gum, bubble gum. Not the hubba bubba, but like stick gum or bubble tape gum, if you remember that. Yeah, I'm definitely liking this. I, I, I kind of want to spray Well, you all know I'm a vanilla hoe. I want a little bit more, baby. Give me more vanilla, baby. Yeah, that is what I get predominantly in the beginning is a little bit of jasmine, and then it comes through with that bubble gum with a vanilla note. And it's actually really nice. I do like this scent a lot. Yeah, I do like it. I, I want to wait for a minute and see how uh, how she uh, winds down on my skin, though. And we'll come back to that one. We'll revisit it in a minute. The last one in this line is Warm and Cozy Pop Jelly. Scent notes are Cotton Candy, Fluffy Vanilla, and Strawberry Gloss. And it says on the back, a cuddly combo of spun sugar, your fave strawberry lip gloss, and sweet teen dreams. Well now, 
Okay, I'm just making sure I don't have anything on my skin there. Let's see what she's given here. I have worn all of these already. However, I haven't smelled them in a couple. I smell this one already. Yo. I like this one. Ooh, baby. What I mainly get from this is cotton candy mixed with a strawberry note, and I love it. Yeah, definitely very cotton candy heavy. I don't get very much vanilla in here. It's very much in the background with that strawberry, but the strawberry is not like a synthetic strawberry. It's like a strawberry pop, like a vibrant pop of strawberry. Yeah, I like this one a lot, you guys. Dang. Hey, girl. What's up? What's up? Yeah, it's definitely cotton candy and strawberry on that initial spray, but we're going to let this dry down a minute. Let's go back to Fresh and Clean, which was that guava and candy apple. Okay, now on dry down, the guava is much more subdued. And you definitely get almost a caramely apple note, which is different. I like it. It's different. That is why I like it is because it is different. The guava is still there, but it definitely has died down more now. And that apple that was there is obviously has to be there. You don't get it on a first initial spray. But now that it's died down, I'm definitely getting an apple note with like candied caramel, though. More candied than caramel, but it has a, a like a creamy factor about it. Yeah, I like that. I think that's really good, yo. Hey, hey. That's not what I was expecting for dry down. And yes, I have smelled these already, but it's been a hot minute since I've smelled them because I want to come back and actually do the video. So now that I'm smelling it again, it's almost like you first meet. You're like, oh, hey, what's up? What's up? Yeah, I do like this one a lot, y'all. I don't... It does not have huge projection. It's kind of like I have to be like right here. But it does smell good. I do like this one. It's definitely worth a sniff. It's a little different. So, hey, hey. Now, uh, let's touch back on the Vanilla and Dreamy, which is that pear, jasmine, and bubblegum. This, I really like this show. I really do. The jasmine's far in the background. I'm not getting any pear. What it mostly is now is like a very subdued bubblegum note mixed with vanilla. So like vanilla and bubblegum, just saying, y'all, just saying, just saying. I'm liking this. I'm liking her. And now let's go back to Warm and Cozy, which is that cotton candy, vanilla, and strawberry gloss. Yeah, this is a very sweet one. Um, it does kind of dry down. It reminds me of pink sugar on the dry down. Yes, it reminds me very heavy of pink sugar in the dry down, which is that cotton candy and strawberry, which is what pink sugar is. This is like a dupe of this, no joke. It's pretty damn close. And it would pair beautifully, I'm sure. Yeah, it smells identical to that. It's cotton candy and vanilla, or I'm sorry, cotton candy and strawberry but toned down. It's not super bright, super artificial. And it, it literally, to me, smells like Pink Sugar by Aquilina. Yes, absolutely. So yes, this was a good collection. I really, I actually like all three, shockingly. That never seems to happen lately with pinks, but I do like all three. I think my favorite out of the three, though, I do like you. Ooh. My favorite, of course, is going to probably be that Vanilla and Dreamy, actually followed by the Fresh and Clean, because that Guava Apple, it's a different combination, and it's just different than what we're always given. I feel like the Warm and Cozy with the Strawberry Cotton Candy is a scent that we see a lot all over the place, so it doesn't feel fresh and new to me. And it does remind me very heavily, like I said, of Pink Sugar, but all three of them are good, yo. I don't think you can go wrong with any one of these. Yeah, but I, I'm, I'm actually kind of torn now between these two because that guava apple is just different.
I don't know. I'm, I'm torn between these two. I'm torn, y'all. I'm torn. Yeah. Anyway, y'all, that is my more in-depth review on the Y2K collection. What did you think? Did you already smell these? If I intrigued you a little bit more, I hope I have, if you haven't smelled them, definitely leave me a comment down below and let me know. And uh, y'all know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, and ding the bell so you learn it every single time your girl uploads. And I will see you in the next one. All right, you guys. Bye-bye.